Today we will review with you the proper technique for using a micropipetter. There are three types of micropipetters and the one you use is depending upon the volume that you are working with. The first one is a P20. The P20 is used for volumes between 1 microliter and 20 microliters. The P200, which is used for volumes between 20 microliters and 200 microliters. And the P1000, which is used for volumes between 200 microliters and 1000 microliters. The parts of the micropipetta include the plunger, the volume adjustment knob, the volume indicator, a plastic shaft, a tip to hold and dispense liquids, the tip ejector arm, and the tip ejector button. One of the challenges in using a micropipetter is how to set the volume. For a P20, we begin by looking at the numbers on the volume indicator. You can see that it reads 1, 0, 0. To determine the volume, take the number that you see and divide by 10. So in this case here, this P20 is set to 10 microliters. If I want to set it to 5 microliters, I'll begin by turning the volume adjustment knob until it reads 0, 5, 0. As you can see, now the volume indicator reads 50, so dividing by 10, that means that this micropipetter is now set to 5 microliters. For a P200, the volume that is indicated on the volume indicator is the volume the pipetter is set to. So in this case, we see that it reads 100 which means that this micropipetta is set to 100 microliters. If I want to set it to 150 microliters, I'll begin by turning the volume adjustment knob until it reads 150. We see that the volume indicator reads 150, which means that this micropipetta is now set to 150 microliters. For a P1000 micropipetta, we look at the number on the volume indicator, 100, and we multiply that number by 10. So this micropipetta is set to 1000 microliters, 100 times 10. If I want to set it to 750 microliters, I'll turn the volume adjustment knob as such till it reads 075. The volume indicator reads 075, so multiplying that by 10 tells me that this micropipetta is now set to 750 microliters. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use a micropipetta with a P1000, and I'm going to demonstrate how to pipette 250 microliters of liquid, and this is, so this is set at 0 to 5 for 250 microliters. So you should probably get a general idea of how to hold this. So this is how I would hold it with my thumb at the plunger and my fingers down here. All right. And to get an idea of how this works, I would just press my thumb down until you can feel a, a slight resistance. Okay, so that's what we call the first stop. And how far down you can press depends on what the volume is set to. So you actually press far, pretty far down if this is set at a higher volume. And after the first stop, you can actually press it down even more. Right? So to pipette this, to load a tip, what I do is go down like this and then make a little quarter turn. Right? Oops. And take my liquid and press the plunger down, insert my tip down, and gently and slowly release the plunger. 
and I'm using my thumb to guide the plunger going up. Okay, and notice that I'm bringing everything to eye level. And here's my empty tube that I'm gonna dispense this liquid in. And what I'm gonna do is take my tip and go all the way down to the bottom and then dispense this. Let my plunger go to the first stop, and wait a little bit, and then go down to past that first stop. And then while I'm still holding the plunger with my thumb, I'm gonna come out my tube and then let go of the plunger. To discard this tip, you can either pull it off with your finger or press the ejector button up here and aim your tip into a disposable container and just press down to eject your tip. Okay, here's some do's and don'ts of how to use a micro pipetter. Do not adjust the volumes beyond or below the limits of the micro pipetter because that will damage the calibration. So for the P1000, never adjust this above 100 or below 020. On the P200, never adjust the volume above 200 or below 020. On the P20, never adjust this above 200 or below 010. When you pipette liquids and you're pressing the plunger down, never snap back like this. So do not do that. So always have your thumb on the plunger and gently guide it going up and down. Never use a micro pipetter without a tip. Never set a micro, micro pipetter down with liquid in the tip. Never eject a micropipetter tip far away from the dispensing container. That was a good shot. To prevent cross-contamination, never reuse pipette tips. Always bring everything to eye level when you're pipetting, but never pipette into a tube that someone else is holding.